Okay, so this video is going to cover how to get Microsoft Teams set up for you to use in your classes. So the first thing we need to do is go to office.com and you're going to enter your Office 365 information. When you get to this page, you're going to click on Teams. And this is going to open the online version of Microsoft Teams for you. Um, here you can turn on um, notifications so that it'll alert you about things going on in class. So you have the choice of turning that on um, or not. I'm going to keep it turned off right now. Okay, so when you get here in the team, you're going to see for your class that you have conversations, files, a class notebook, and assignments. Conversations will be where your teacher posts information about the class to all of you. So it's kind of like announcements. Um, and you can reply or leave a thumbs up saying that you've read the message. So that's all going to happen in conversations. So just be aware that this, anything that you post in this part of the team will be visible to all of your classmates as well as your teacher. Um, under files, this is where your teacher will leave you certain files that you may need to open for your class, maybe PowerPoints or Word documents. Class notebook is the actual OneNote for this class. And so you can access it through Teams by clicking on class notebook. And then assignments are the assignments that your teachers have left for your class. So you'll see that here. Um, on the side bar, you also have the ability to chat with um, teachers or other students, um, but be mindful that anything that you say within these chats can be viewed by system administrators, so you need to be careful um, what you're, what you're doing in those chats. But you do have the ability to add um, emojis or GIFs, um, depending on what uh, conversations you're having. You can also get to assignments here on the sidebar. This will lay out all the assignments for all your different classes. Um, I guess those classes that are using Microsoft Teams in their, in their classrooms. So you can click on assignments and get here to view an overview of the things that you have coming up. The last thing I want to cover before um, ending this video is how to get Microsoft Teams downloaded to your desktop. So you're going to need to come over here to your initials and click on that. And then in the drop down menu, you're going to see download the desktop app. And once that comes up down here at the bottom, it's asking you what you want to do with it. Go ahead and say run. This process might take a minute. Um, so just be prepared for that the first time. And then when it comes up, it's just going to ask you to sign in. OK, so you'll see that your Microsoft Teams has been added um, to your laptop. And you can access all that information from here instead of going out to the web to get the information. You might also want to go ahead and come down here to the taskbar and right click and say um, pin to taskbar. And that'll allow it to stay here. Um, you will see notifications, a little red dot, um, sometimes some numbers. If a teacher has posted something in one of your classes, it just will alert you. So if you'll leave it running down here in your taskbar, it'll go ahead and alert you of certain things that are happening in your classes. Um, it'll also send you emails of those notifications if you have that set up um, for, your, for this particular class. So that gets you going with your Microsoft team for your classroom.